Now, if you just started producing and you're using FL Studio, you're probably like me when I first started. I wasted 5, 10, 20 minutes of just looking for where is where, like what tools to use, uh, how to open the tabs, how to open these tools. Then you click on the right video because today I'm going to share to you 5 tips that will save you time in working on a project in FL Studio. Okay, so we're here in FL Studio and if you've opened FL Studio for the first time, you've probably seen this, like you have four sounds already in your channel rack, you have a limiter on your master, and you go through the hassle of like removing them, you know, deleting these, and you've probably done that every time you open FL Studio and work on a like song or whatever you're working on so you can change that by just going to file and then you go to new from template and just pick empty you have to save that so every time you open FL studio from now you're gonna have this you're just gonna have a sampler on the channel rack you have no limiter no effects on your mixer whatsoever and then you're good to go the second tip I want to share with you is hotkeys. I'm going to share with you like three hotkeys that you need to know, which mostly you're going to be using like all the time when you're working on a project. So instead of like just clicking on your channel rack, clicking on your mixer or clicking on your playlist to open, you can use F5 to open your playlist. You can use F6 to open your channel rack and you have F7 to open piano roll you have F9 to open your mixer and that will save you a huge amount of time instead of just you know looking for you know which tools to open or where do you find them <clears throat> this will be very helpful for you if you just you know use the hotkeys and that's number two. Number three is assigning your instruments or your sounds to a mixer track. So you probably went through uh, this process right here where you have an, have an instrument or a sound and you probably like, you know, scrolled up and down just to put them on a mixer track. So here's a very helpful tip that will teach you uh in you know assigning sounds and instruments to a mixer track so let's say if you you want to assign all of these into a mixer track so what you want to do is normally it's highlighted you know, the one you the one you pick is highlighted and then if you left click on each and every one of these it highlights just one but if you right click on the one below it and just drag down it highlights like multiple instruments or sounds and then you want to go onto your mixer track let's say you want to uh, put them from one to five you click on the first mixer track or whichever mixer track you want to place them in you right click it go to channel routing and then select root selected channel starting from this track there you have it You've assigned each and every instrument, you know, in each, every uh, mixer track. Okay, on to the next one. So, let's say you have a chord, you know, pattern on on your single instrument. Uh, I think this is a piano. Yeah. So, and you want to have the same uh, chord progression on your other instruments. Like this synth right here this pads so instead of just copy and pasting them to you know each and every one of them you can just uh cut this and then you open up layer you can find layer uh in here on your plugins and then just paste it on layer and then from here you want to open open up layer uh, open up layer and highlight all of these and then set children so 
by the time you play the chord progression it will uh, all of these instruments will play uh, the same chord progression or whatever is in the layer Last but not least is this this is a very useful tip uh, to me at least but it may be uh, very helpful for you in your you know music production as well so back then I used to like every time uh, I want to hear like a single you know a uh, single track or recording I always uh, do this you know mute all the other stuff also you can do this by you know if you wanna you know mute all other stuff you can like hold control and then click on it you can mute mute other uh, tracks or unmute them you can switch them as well you know just by holding control and then click that's a bonus step but back then I used to do that but now uh if i want to hear like a certain like instrument or sound uh, in the playlist what you can do is hold alt and then right click and it opens up this you know sound icon you can then hover on uh whichever sounds you want to hear like for example this this or this or this now you can just hover over your playlist without you know clicking on whichever uh, where your where the part you want to hear is you can just right click them and hover I like looking at the waves. it's pretty simple it's pretty simple but it's very helpful it's very useful you know if you want to save time just by you know instead of like hitting space or m muting them and there you have it those were five tips uh, on FL Studio that will help you in your music production you know work faster and I wish I knew that when I first started producing and also if you like this kind of uh, video where I teach like tips and you know tutorials about uh, how, how FL Studio works let me know in the comments and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. It helps the channel grow. And turn on notification bells to you know, see more production videos. Also, if you haven't joined our Discord yet, uh, we do beat reviews there. We help our producers you know, get better at music production. I'll leave the link to, to that in the description. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.